Hello everyone, today we'll learn how to make some infrared filters. Whoa! Infrared photography is fascinating with all its wide vegetation, nice contrast and sometimes deep dark skies. I love it. So the recipe is simple. Step one, go to your favorite Photoshop. Okay, Buy a roll of slide film. It's a E6 process. Let's say, uh, right, 35 millimeter. This is C41. This is color negative film. Don't buy that. What you need is a slide film. The process is E6. And instead of choosing a 35 millimeter roll, take a medium format roll. It's 120 film instead of 35 millimeter film. Why use a 120 film? It's because instead of having this wide filters with holes in them, you will have that wide. All right, so you'll be able to, to have bigger infrared filters. That's really useful. Uh, 120 film is not available everywhere, uh, but uh, be sure to uh, specify that you need a uh, slide film, E6 process. Um, so Ektachrome or Fujichrome, that's the way to go. All right, so step number three. Once you bought that, slide film don't sit up of the shop stay there and ask your seller to process this right away even if it's not exposed to light they will probably give you a weird look right but specify that you know it makes no sense but you insist you need to process the film like it is unexposed specify also that they should not cut the film you will cut it yourself right uh, when you'll receive the processed film roll, in reality, you will have a roll of infrared filter. This type of infrared filter is perfectly fine. It cuts light at around 750 nanometers and leaves about 2% of visible light. Uh, so you have really subtle colors, like in this example. If you want some deeper uh, or pure blacks uh, in your skies, uh, just use a second layer of the filter, right? So by putting a second layer, it cuts to 900 something nanometers and you will have um, a different look. Uh, really uh, in black and white, it's really nice. Um, you can now cut your own filters to the size you want and use them on any camera you like. That's great. So the explanation. Slide film is meant to go in projectors, right? In a big projector, there is a big light bulb that generates a lot of heat. To make sure that the slide film does not melt, it lets infrared light go through. Also, if the slide film is not exposed, it's opaque, totally dark. So if you have something that lets infrared light go through, and blocks visible light, you have an infrared filter. That simple. There you go. So now do some infrared photography and share your fun with everyone. If you found this interesting, please share, like. If you have some comments, you might even have a better idea. Please comment in the comment section down below. And uh, thanks for watching and may the photo be with you. <laughs>